Hi and welcome to our latest video. This one's a bit of a different one for us, don't do many of these but it's a tutorial video. I've had a couple of videos up on my channel recently where I've got an AI boss going up against a ton of Magna Guards, one after each other. So one Magna Guard dies and then the next one spawns and they just keep spawning and we try and find out how many Magna Guards it takes to take down an AI boss. I've been asked a few times how I set this up and I've got to be honest with you, trying to describe it in the comments is impossible. So here's a video to show you how it's done. It's pretty simple. I'm going to go straight into the creativer toys and we're going to be using a couple of things. Now, you can do it with two things. I personally use three. So I'll show you the way I do it. First thing we're going to use is an action button. And we're going to need three enemy wave generators. If I can find them, there they are. Just so it happens I've got a favourite on them. Just space them out a little bit. However you want to put them. And the third thing I use is a locator. Now the reason I use a locator is because, if I can find it, when you drop your wand and you're not in spark mode and you're not in wand mode, you can still see the bases of those enemy wave generators. So if you put them into your toy box, it doesn't look that cool. You know, there's like gubbins in your toy box. If you use a locator, they're invisible. So we'll link them up in a minute to the locator and that's where the boss, uh, boss is. That's where the baddies are going to spawn. Right, that's everything we need to use to actually build the thing. Sorry, I just wanted to go into spark mode. The second thing we're going to do is go onto the enemy wave generators and just put some baddies in, what we want to choose to, to defeat. And I'm just going to use one. I mean, if you want to use more, fine. But for the purpose of this, I will just use one. I'm going to use something that's easy to kill, a battle droid. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other two enemy wave generators. I'm ignoring all the other settings just interested in putting one body on each wave generator. That's the second one done. I'm going to keep this tutorial simple. I'm not going to go into anything else. So for the third, and again, the same body, B1 Battle Droid. We like a bit of Star Wars. And then the second thing we need to do is I'll show you the way it works. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to hit the button and we want... A boss, uh, a boss again, an enemy to spawn on the locator. Then we want it to, when we've killed the enemy, spawn another one. When that one's killed, spawn another one and so on. So as I said, we'll hit the button and that'll spawn a baddie. So to do that, new logic connection, when the button's pressed, Come over to the enemy wave generator, and I'm going to choose the middle one because it's just like how it links up. Go to the settings and generate a wave. That's it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into that enemy wave generator, and I'm going to say a new logic connection. When that baddie is defeated, that wave is defeated, then go to the next enemy wave generator, and generate a wave. So I'm into the settings on that one and generate a wave. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go into that enemy wave generator, new logic connection. When that wave or that baddie is defeated, go to the first enemy wave generator and connect it and generate a wave. And the last time into the enemy wave generator, new logic connection. When the wave's defeated, move to the final one, connect it, and generate a wave. That's it. Set up. Infinite loop. And I do mean infinite. There's no way of stopping this. Now, the last thing to do is just tell it where we want them to spawn. So we'll go into the settings on the first one, and we'll go down to a new locator connection, and we we'll simply just go over to our locator and connect. Spawn location, job done. We'll do the same with the middle one. We'll go into the settings, new locator connection, over to the locator, spawn location. 
It's nice with the lines. You didn't used to get that on the old Disney Infinity, but with this one, you can see where everything's linked up. So the third and final one into the settings, new locator connection, and link it up to the locator. And that is it. We'll come out of spark mode. Get back to old Bob of Fett. And we'll just see if it's all working. We'll hit the button. Now, it will take a few seconds to spawn between each one because there is a setting on there that basically says wait four seconds to generate a wave. So, there we go. Here's the wait. There's the first baddie. Nice and easy to take him down. He's dead. Now we're looking at wave generator number two. And he comes. He's dead. It's going to be another few seconds wait. You can change that setting. It's in the properties if you're interested. This is the third and final one. And then it should just keep looping and they'll just keep coming. And hopefully, fingers crossed, there he is, the fourth one. So they've got it. An infinite loop with your baddies. Now, what you want to implement that to, that's entirely up to you. There's a ton of things you can do with it. But one thing I will say is, normally with these type of things, to stop it going, I would normally go down to reset gameplay and simply reset it. Great. Normal circumstances, that'll stop them spawning. Unfortunately, not this. So the only way you can get this to stop is by saving it before you hit the go button or the button rather and then reloading it and then obviously it's going to reload it with no one spawned and then you can start it up into motion again i'd be interested if anybody does know a way of stopping this i, I really would it'd be really helpful for me myself if you know leave it in the comments but for now there we have it if this helped you out and i really hope it did help a few people out then hit the like button and give us a thumbs up that helps us out a lot and if you want to see more of this type of stuff and a ton of other stuff, come check out my channel. We update daily and hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. We do hope to see you in the next and bye for now.